Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new chapter of One Piece, which is on 876. Now, this chapter right here, it seems like to me this arc is going to go a little bit longer than expected. I really do not know how this is, how long it is going to go. But I may get an idea that it may last maybe another month, possibly. Although, like him, I could be wrong. It all depends, because what I saw in this chapter could go about maybe another month or two, or possibly more. Because of what happened in this chapter. We have to it that the Straw Hats that's running to the Thousand Sunny. I'm pretty surprised to see that a Thunderbolt hit hit Big Mom. But apparently that does not stop at all. Like I said um, in last week's chapter. There's no way Big Mom would be defeated that easily. Especially when she's a freaking Four Emperors or a Yonko obviously. She's freaking digging through Earth itself right now and causing major mischief and management. And what I mean by that, she's causing some chaos. Especially when they're on the run right now and Jinbei warns the others like, no matter what we do, she ain't she ain't gonna stop until 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 she is satisfied with what she's given, she ain't gonna stop. And we had to it that Pudding shows up and she ends up having this warped up switcheroo personality. It's like she so she shows her evil side and then she shows this lovable side. It's like a freaking personality disorder, like two showing up, pop and go, pop and go. She's like saying, "Ha ha, I'm gonna see your friends die." Oh no, what am I saying? Ha ha, I'm gonna see your friends die. Uh, what are you saying? I'm like, what the hell? So it looks like Pudding is having some kind of personality disorder. Why I saw in this chapter because obviously she goes like, "Hey Sanji, join me so you can see your friends die." Oh, saying I'm like oh guys please give me a break <laughs> aside from that um we had to it that um <laughs> pudding is asking Sanji for help especially chiffon because we know Sanji is a good cook and of course he could do basically do anything because obviously he's the freaking chef of the straw hats and has been training his butt off for two years for the new world so what else he can't cook huh Aside from that, Chiffon gives the idea to Sanji that we're gonna give, we're gonna make this cake in Chuck Chuck Chuckaloa Town. Like, um, we'll make it as fast as we can and bring it over here by the ship and give it to her. Until then, she can come back to her senses. Because it's like this: Big Mom would not stop until she gets what she wants. And Pudding does give the hint by saying, like, she's gonna chase your butt all the way to the end of the earth until she, until. You give it to her or something. Even if you make it to your ship, it's pretty much it's no use. She'll literally chase you down to the ends of Earth, that Pudding says. And we have to it that, um... We have to it that, um, Sanji will go with, like, a Pudding and Chiffon to make the freaking wedding cake, obviously. Of course, Sanji tells Luffy, go to the sea, we'll meet you soon, okay? And of course, like, um, Big Mom left out, let, let... Launched an attack called Mighty Nation and almost killed them all, but apparently they survived. Of course, like, um, we have to it that Pudding decides to save the Straw Hats by rewriting the the homies' memories or the, you know, that for the seducing forces' memories somehow, and they managed to, like, um, get through. And Sanji thanks Pudding for that, and Pudding's like, what the hell are you doing up here in this carpet? Yada, yada, yada. And... We have to it that Sanji has ha, has love for her putting gang angry, but whatever. Aside from that, Chiff was really concerned about the Thousand Sunny since it's being damaged right now. Well, obviously, because like, um, Brook and Chopper are like fighting, fighting for the ship right now, but endless soldiers are like coming through. And we have to it that Chopper says they're coming, they're coming out of those mi mirrors here and there, but we had to destroy the mirror in Nami's room, but... She will get really angry if we destroy that mirror. And of course, like, um, Brooke's like, you know what, just smash it. Because right now, our life is on the line and we'll just apologize later. And Nami will just put you in debt. Because we all know Nami, obviously. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Aside from that. But if that doesn't happen, she puts Brooke and Chopper in debt. Would, that would be pretty shocking. Aside from that, we have to it that, um... Pedal's pedal and Katakuri is giving Brooke and Chopper to get the hell off the ship and etc. But apparently they say, uh-uh, we're still this is our ship. You get the hell off. And 
we have to it that the Straw Hats are like still running for their lives right now, and I hope they get the hell out of that forest and join Chopper and Brook soon because they can't hold off an army for too long. Just by looking at their faces and bodies right now, they are, they seem to be very breathing. F they really are running out of breath right now, and we have to it that um, let's see, if Prometheus and Zeus were like fighting against each other, and well. Prometheus is pretty upset at Zeus and what he's doing, but aside from that, we have to it that Chiffon Pudding and the others are like getting ready to like make a wedding cake so that Big Mom can really faint. So yeah, all I can really give you in simple words in this chapter, or simple summaries of sentences in this chapter, is that the Straw Hats are running, running. Pudding has a freaking switcheroo personality disorder, etc. And of course, like um, Sanji, on the other hand, decides to help out with the wedding cake while Chopper and Brooke are fighting for their lives on the, on the Thousand Sunny to take back the ship and Straw Hats are on the way to the Thousand Sunny. Big Mom being giving out the big chase and Sanji's like, we're going to make a cake that she's going to faint so badly on. So that's about it. Overall, pretty cool chapter. But like I said, like um, because of what happened in this chapter, this arc could go on for at least a month or two because... If Oda decides to show them how they're going to make the wedding cake, etc., that'll be, like, very... That could take a while. It all depends how much art he's going to put into, but who knows. Anyways, I still love One Piece. I still love One Piece, even though this chapter came about. Like I said, um, could go about maybe a month or two, because, like, um, depending on how they're going to get the ingredients, etc., it can either go good or bad, but we'll have to see. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off Azor, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!